Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Classic. Um, good five of you. I'm gonna make this run speed. I'm not gonna waste much time. Bears, Commanders. Bears, uh, great, uh, great win. Um, they continued with, uh, they continued their, um, their momentum that they had from the, from the Broncos game. Um, this is, uh, Justin Fields had a great game. Um, DJ Moore had a great game. Scott and John, you had him. And, um, in fantasy, you won. You definitely won. Um, so good for him. Uh, the defense was good. Everyone was really good for the, for the Bears. And this is what happens when everyone plays good on your team. You, you end up getting the win. And that's really what just happened. Uh, commanders, uh, we got, they went down kind of big, um, I thought they were going to come back for a second, you know, because, uh, they, they did score, but, um, hey, it didn't end up happening, and, uh, the commanders lost, which I'm happy about, uh, but, Bears win, 48-20, great win for the Bears, if you're a Bears fan, I, you, you know, you're, you're happy, you're very happy, Jaguars, Bills, and London, Bills, Bills, um, Bills absolutely destroyed the Dolphins, and then they come back with a complete stinker. And um, Travis Etienne had a great game. Trevor Lawrence looks good. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good game. Um, but I'm surprised that the Bills um, were just were just like this because I really I, I I really thought that the Bills were gonna come back, was gonna come and like increase on their momentum and you know uh, take take that take another take another dub honestly so i am surprised to see that the uh jaguars beat them and the fact that the fact that the jaguars aren't a good team the jaguars are a great team it's just that the bills are just better but again any given sunday and the jaguars pick up the win saints versus Patriots. Patriots, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta really, you, you, you gotta, you gotta bench. Um, you know, uh, I know, um, I know Bill, I know Bill did it already, but like, he shouldn't start another game for y'all. In, in the, in the draft, y'all gotta get a quarterback. Y'all have to get Caleb Williams or someone else because Matt Jones just doesn't do it. He's, he's, he's not good. Um, he's, he's not. He, he, he had one of the, possibly one of the worst picks of the year that I saw. And he's just not good. He hasn't been good since his, since I saw for more year. And it's just rapid decon. But Saints, great win. Good job for y'all. Defense balled out. Uh, but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta figure, figure out a way to, um, to fix this thing, to fix this. Coach Titans, great game by Nahi Han, she had like a couple of touchdowns, I believe, uh, so, love to see him doing well, um, what is it, um, let us see him doing well, I hope Anthony Richardson can, uh, can come back healthy, cause I do like to see, I would love to see him back um i've never really got to see him play all that much uh but when i did see him i was very impressed and i was very happy with what i saw so i'd love to see him play more uh just hopefully that this uh that this that this injury isn't too serious but yeah uh zach not naheem hines zach moss was the dude that had the crazy game he had 165 yards and two TDs. So yeah, and I hit no, not like not Zach Moss. I think that's his name. Went off the screen. So hopefully, yeah, you know, but now that Jonathan Taylor is um has signed with the Colts, I do think we're gonna see a lot more of Jonathan Taylor. So I would hope that next week, um, they do they do involve him in the game. Steelers, Ravens, Ravens should have won this game. I don't know how they managed to. I, I don't know how they managed to lose this game. I, I don't know. Like you lost to a team that has Matt Canada as their offensive coordinator. Like and Matt Canada's trash. So 
so I don't know how you managed to lose him, but yeah, what you managed you managed to lose to Matt Canada. Kenny Pickett and the, the defense for the Steelers was pretty good. It was uh, they had that clutch uh, TJ Watt, obviously their best player on on both sides of the ball. Had that clutch play to steal the game. Uh, just, I, I don't know what that offense, I don't know what the Ravens offensive line was doing. But, jeez, what is going on with the Ravens? Um, they just not have looked as good as I thought they would. But still, was, uh, they looked pretty good after last episode. After that win last week, so they continued their momentum as well. Um... I don't know. I'm not sure. If, hold on. Let me see that. Uh, they played the. Uh, and then. Uh, I think they have a bye week next week. I'm pretty sure they have a bye week. I don't think they. I don't think they play next week. Um, but yeah, they get that. They get that bye week. So that's extra like preparation for their for new for for their opponent. And hopefully they can come out and you know with some new things. Please. This team is a, it's a good it's a good overall team. I, I know I I think everyone knows that at this point. But yeah, Ravens looks absolute trash. Panthers and Lions though. Uh, Lions are one of the I I think out of the teams that I think could actually beat the Eagles or the uh, or the 49ers, I think the Lions are that team. Now off defensively, they're not going to stop either team. But. Offensively, I think they have the weapons to keep up with either team on the offense. And I think that's what really is like. Their offense is their defense. I think that's the best way to play the is the fact that their offense is their defense. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it, it makes sense. You know, honestly, I feel like it, it makes a lot of sense. But... The Panthers, the Panthers, I don't know. Look, I try not to hate, but like Bryce Young, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but Bryce, but Bryce Young isn't, I don't think he's bad. I, I, I don't. Um, he did have two INTs though, so that's never good, but Jerry Goff had three TDs, no picks. So. But yeah, uh, I, it's just the fact, it's just the situation that he's in right now. It's really the situation that uh, Bryce Young is in. Now, if he was in a better situation, then he, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be doing so bad. But it's the Panthers. He got drafted to the Panthers. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it could be worse. I, I would say that. But Lions, great offense, wonderful. Defense looked pretty good today. Um, but not today, but in that game. But again, it was the Panthers as well. So there's that. But like anytime your defense is good, it doesn't matter what kind of team it is. Your defense plays good, um, you, you should win the game. And that's what you did. So you got the Texans and the Falcons. Um, honestly, it was. I, I don't really know what to say about this game. I'm not really sure. I'm just like. I mean, Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter, though, he did. He, uh, I was very impressed with Desmond Ritter, actually. Oh, this was, and this was, um, and then, um, even though Bijan wasn't really in on the, uh, in on the running, he had 46 yards today, he did have that one crazy, uh, play where he, like, where he, um, he caught, he caught it, did, like, behind the bag, and whatever, or whatever, and, you know, uh, that was, he did take that for a touch, and that was pretty cool. Uh, I did see that on uh, uh, Insta, on social, on Insta. Uh, it was like a highlight video. It was like they had this really cool camera the view of it. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm very, I was, I'm very impressed. Uh, Kyle Pitts actually had 87 yards. Um, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm glad that they're now actually using Kyle Pitts. You know. Because last year they weren't using all that much, and it was kind of upset. Because, like, I, 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 I'm, I love Kyle Pitts. I'm a Kyle Pitts fan. And, you know, to see him not being used, just like, uh, okay, because, like, he, he, he's your jump ball guy. But it's like, I'm glad that he's now getting used, though, so that's all good. But yeah, uh, Desmond Ritter at 329, a TD, CJ Stroud at 249, and one TD. Um, Dalton Schultz, I love, I'm glad to see that Dalton Schultz is doing well. Uh, 
aggressive here. I don't know why the Cowboys let him go, but hey, Cowboys let him go for some reason. We could have been, we could have been, could have been good with him, but no, we're just, we're just good. Wait, wait, okay, let's not. But yeah, if that was the Houston Texans, or that was Texans and uh, the Texans and the Falcons. No, we actually got the Dolphins and the um, and the Giants. Good news, Giants fans. Y'all scored your first TD in the first half today because of a pick six, a hundred and two yard pick six. Sadly, it didn't lead to a win, but like, hey, be happy. You, you, you scored, you scored in the first half. But honestly, I really thought it was going to be a I really thought it was going to be a blowout. And I'm surprised that. And I'm honestly very surprised that it wasn't. I was really, I was really hoping, I was really expecting this to be a big blowout. Like, oh, the Dolphins are going to, the Dolphins are going to pull in another, they're going to, Play up to them like they did with the uh, with the um, with the Broncos, but they didn't. I'm actually surprised by it, to the least. But yeah, um, Dolphins Dolphins played good. The Giants, I'm not surprised that was, but it's it's just it's, 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 it's alright, man. But I, I don't know. I mean, would you really expect them to beat the Dolphins? When you have Daniel Jones as your QB, dude, like, how do you expect to be a good team with Daniel Jones as your QB? I I don't get it, but sure. Uh, next we got Bengals and the Cardinals. We had Jamar. I'm always open. Chase uh, went off, and he truly is always open because the Cardinals, no matter what the Cardinals do. He, he found a way to get open, and that's the the Jamar that we're used to seeing. The one that no matter who's guarding him, he can he can find a way to get open. So I'm I'm glad to see that he's that. I mean, he was always open. Uh, look, I will say that again. He was he's always been open. It's just that now because of because of the simple fact that um, because of Joe Burrow's ankle injury. He hasn't been, he, Joe Burrow hasn't been the same dude, and he hasn't been able to be mobile, but, um, but now that, but it's good to see that he, that he, uh, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow both had great games. Uh, Josh Dobbs had an okay game. He did have two INTs, though, so there's that, but... Um, the, the Cardinals, as, as bad as people claim that they are, the Cardinals are not that bad of a team, honestly. They're, they're really not. They're actually not that bad of a team. They're actually a really good team. It's just that, you know, they're mainly faking, tanking, so they may seem like a bad team, when in reality, if they were actually trying to win, like, games and, like, you know, they could be a playoff contending team. But that's besides the point. Uh, we have the Eagles and the Rams. Honestly, there were times where I thought the Rams were actually gonna win. Um, honestly, because let me, I will say this: Eagles haven't looked that good. I will say that they almost lost to the Commanders last week, and now you you almost you, you almost lose to the Rams. And these are two teams that I I will say that the Eagles are much better than and should have handled them easily and and they didn't and it's the same thing with the Chiefs and I will get to them later when they when they when I talk about them and the Vikings but it's the same situation with Eagles that it is with the Chiefs like they're these are really good teams that should beat opponents that are lesser than them you know with ease and then they're not doing it. And, and it's confusing. I, I will say that it is very confusing when a team that should beat another team doesn't. Case in point, like I said, Eagles and the Rams. Eagles are a much better team, even though they did come out with the win. Uh, they did make a, a they held, they, they maybe, they held, um, they held the Rams to no offensive scores in the second half, which is insane.
insane when you think about it. The, the fact that the Rams didn't score one time in the second half. The whole uh, team scores for a whole half is insane to me. So, obviously, Eagles defense is really good. It's just that the offense hasn't looked not not the not per se the offense, but just like the whole team hasn't looked as good as I know as me and a bunch of other people know they can be. Because there's no way in, in there's no way that the Rams should even be close to playing be close to being, being the Eagles. But you need you on Sunday. Jets, Broncos. Jets, great game. Um, y'all bounce back. Uh I'm glad to see that they won with the Broncos, but hey, uh, it was all right. Uh, Brees Hall, though, Brees Hall, I love Brees Hall, so I'm happy that he had a big game. He had 177 in the TD. Uh, the Jets defense was stifling. They did have that one clutch, uh, they, that that uh, that fumble that he was like 20, it was like 24, 21, and then they and then they sash and then they uh. Cause the fumble on um on what's his name Russell Wilson, which uh ended up giving the 30 uh, 31 to 21 lead, and that's what ended up winning in the game. So defense of the of the Jets, I mean, there's nothing needs to be said. They're a really good team. They're a really good uh they're a really good defense. I feel like everyone knows that, but again, I'm not surprised though. So I'm not surprised that they beat the Broncos. Uh, they should have. They should have beat the Broncos, and they did. And uh, Russell Wilson did have a good game. He had a, a one TD. Uh, just, it's just that fumble it just really caught it. Chiefs and Vikings, and like I, like I was gonna make, I make the point where it's it's a team that this is a team that should be down on the Vikings pretty easily when you look at it. It's on paper. The, the Chiefs are significantly better than the Vikings, and they should be they should beat them pretty easily. But it's it's just that I don't think it's, I don't know what's what's going on. But like the the, the Chiefs just haven't looked that good this year. They haven't looked as impressive as they have in past years. I will say that. Uh, they just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I don't, I don't know. But the Chiefs have got to get it together. If they want to make another Super Bowl run, they got to get it together. Because 27-20, it, obviously they got the win. But you think they win by more just because of who they have on their team and who, who they are, who we know them as, as a team. Like that, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, um, all these different weapons, and you think that they would have been the being the Vikings more handily, and obviously that didn't happen. But it, it's a win to win. But hopefully the uh, the Chiefs can play better next week, and hopefully they we can get they can go back to that to the team that we know they can. Uh, 49ers and Cowboys. Ooh, this is going to hurt me, Sanders. Cowboys played absolute shit. I, oh my god, I, I don't. If, this is, this is, this is a team that we can't, that we seem to have not been able to beat for the past three or so years like I don't know what it is about the 49ers it's like we it's like they know what we're gonna do like obviously you know they said he film and everything but it's like during the game when the game is on it's like they know what we're gonna do before we even like call it and it's really it's weird it, it's weird I mean obviously they have some great talent on their roster so I'm not surprised that we lost, but you know, I would have thought at least it, we would have put up more of a fight. Because 42 to 10 is just unacceptable. 
we gave we let him three touchdowns to George Kittle. No disrespect to George Kittle, but we gave him three touchdowns. That is unacceptable. And the offense needs to do better. Honestly, because when the defense got stops. And the defense did get stops. I will say, let me let me say that the defense did get stops. And when they did, we, we couldn't we couldn't convert. And it's and I and I and I'm mad because if we were able to actually convert on those on the on the three and outs in that in that fumble that Christian McCaffrey had, if we were able. If we were able to actually capitalize, this would be a lot closer of a game, and I wouldn't be over here mad as a motherfucker right now. Because oh my god, I need to calm down. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get how every single year. Not every single year, but for the past three years, we have not been able to beat the team. They they eliminated us in the playoffs and they beat us in 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 the regular season. It's no matter what we do, I can't we can't beat this team, and it makes no sense to me. But 49ers, they're a better team, and I will say this one thing: Dak, when Dak runs, he looks so scared. I, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that has noticed. This. But, and I hope, and hopefully I'm not. But Dak seems scared whenever he plays. Whenever he runs, he's like rolling out of the pocket. And we know Dak is a mobile QB. He's not the most athletic QB, but he's mobile enough to, you know, to get up to pick up a first down. You know, like he's like a Patrick Mahomes, where he's mobile. He might not use that mobility all the time, but we know he's mobile. And that's what that's what Dak has. He has the mobility, but it's like ever since that ankle injury, he's just not been the same quarterback. And he's scared. I feel like he's scared to actually be mobile. Like it makes no sense. But I, I just hope we can come back against the Chargers. We we need a bounce back against uh, against the good team. We need we need to be the, if we want. To be considered playoff contenders, we need to beat the good team, and this is a game that, and I think Michael McCarthy said this. This is a, this is there are measures. Really. I don't know if he said that, but I'm gonna say it. there are measures. This is a team that we're striving to beat every year. This is a team that we that when we see them on our when we see when we see them on our schedule. We aim to be the down. And it just hasn't happened. You know how you know how they make the jokes. You know how people, uh, NFL, NFL, uh, like fans, NFL fans be like, oh, uh, a certain person owns this person, or like NBA fans will be like, oh, you know, Jimmy Butler owns yada 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 yada, whatever. And they'd be like, oh, you know, the uh, the Warriors own the Grizzlies, or like the, the Patriots own the AFC East, or, or whatever, back when Tom Brady was QB. Let's say that. As a Cowboys fan, the, I hate to say this, but the the 49ers own us. I, 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 I hate to say it as a, as, as a fan of, as a fan of the, as a fan of the Cowboys. But they own us because they spanked us. Forty-two to ten. Forty-two to ten. This is one of the most sickening losses I've seen as a Cowboys fan in, in a while. Because we have the talent to beat them, but we can't beat them for some reason. And it's actually infuriating. Like, I don't get why we can't beat them, but we can't. 
So I'm just gonna move on. I I, I don't I don't care. The Raiders, Packers. Oh Jesus Christ, sort of love. Jesus, Jesus, man. You had a couple of picks. You had three picks all together, I think. And two were to the same dude. And I and I've said this before in four in the past. But I don't get how you how how you expect to win when you start three picks. Two of them to the same person. I don't get it. But yeah. They they managed to keep it close. Because of one reason and one reason only. The Raiders are just that bad. The Raiders are just that bad that Despite despite the fact that Jordan Love threw three picks, they managed to only win by four. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Despite the fact that that Jordan Love had three picks, I'm pretty sure was it was it three or might been two or two. Had, yeah, yeah, three picks. The Raiders, the Raiders still only won by four points. I, I don't get it. If, if a Raiders fan can somehow explain to me how y'all only won by four points. I mean, I get it, you're trash. But like, that trash to where the fact that someone threw three picks and you only won by four, I don't get it. But hey, uh, Jordan Love, man. She's you play bad. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. Um, it can be if that pass is completed. You need to be played all right for, for his standards. He had one touchdown, one INT. He had pretty good percentage. But Jesus Christ, he, you all got, you got to be better for now. But that's, that's all. Uh, so this week, honestly, this week was honestly a, a better week. Uh, we saw a lot closer games. We saw... A couple of uh, a couple of games that that teams should have won and they didn't win. Or and yeah. So, yeah, until next week. Peace.